guys, uh, I'm Pat, this is Rachel from Unleashed Artistry. Uh, she has just delivered her awesome portrait that she did of my dog Zuka, as you can see here. Um, Rach, this is a different type of painting to what you normally do. Uh, your style is a little bit different. Can you just explain to us how uh, Zuka here is a wee bit different to your regular style of painting? Yep, so um, based on your request, you wanted yep. something that didn't have a lot of detail in it and was like a real traditional sort of oil painting. So this one's a painterly style portrait. So basically there is hardly any detail in it, even though it may seem like it is detailed. Definitely. If you compare this to one of my original portraits, there is a significant amount less detail in this one. So when I applied the paint, I applied it a lot thicker than I normally would. So instead of building up the layers thinly, I put the paint on a lot thicker and worked up the layers that way and blended a lot more and didn't work on those tiny details that I would in one of my normal portraits. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting because for someone that doesn't have the artistic talent that what you do, I look at this style of painting and I can see the detail in myself. Um, some of those examples would be, yes, Zuka's uh, left ear does sit higher than his right. Um, I see that on, on him every day. Um, when I look into his old, oh, sorry, when I look into his eyes, it's as though I can see his soul. I can see my dog looking back. So I absolutely love it. How long does this style of painting take this in this this technique? Uh, this particular painting took 17 hours, yep. so it's less than half the amount of time it would take me to do a detailed wow. portrait. For this size, you're looking at about 80 to 120 hours for a detailed portrait. Oh. Just purely with the layers and the size of it and the complexity and everything. So, so when you talk about layers, explain to those that are not artistically uh, up with it. So when you talk about layers, you know, I, I, I've seen, I've been lucky enough, I've seen a few little sneak peeks of, uh, of, of Zuka's piece of art, you know, coming to fruition. Can you explain, you know, what are the layers? Because I know, you know, you sent me through a rough draft to start off with and I thought that was complete. <laughs> Can you just explain how it works with the layers? And guys, what we'll do is we'll put up um, uh, one of Rachel's time-lapse videos. So all of the uh, portraits that Rachel does, uh, she does film on um, time-lapse. And uh, if by chance you order one as a gift or a surprise or something like that, you know, they just need to let you know so you don't post that on, on your social media. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. So if you could just explain uh, the layers for us a little bit, how does that work? Yes, yeah, so when I work up a portrait, I start with a base coat. So it's usually just a one coloured sketch of the pet, just to get those shapes and where everything's meant to be, with the tongue and the nose and the eyes. Um, then I start working up colours and depth. So that's what the layers basically are. So yeah. with an oil portrait, you really need to get the depth to create that global lighting to make it look 3D that it's shiny and you know that the nose is actually round and not just flat yeah. so that's what all the uh, layers are used for so I'll start with one colour and then maybe work another colour up and start yeah. adding lighter areas and darker areas and I'll just keep building on those pretty much until yeah. I get to a stage where I think alright I can start adding some details now but obviously with this portrait that was so different <laughs> So obviously Zuka's obedience is pretty good, but for, to have a dog to hold a sit position for about 17, 18 hours it would be quite unrealistic. How do you actually get you know these details and 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 uh, you know without having the, the dog present with you? I'm sure Zuka could hold a sit for 17 hours. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pretend like that because we're on video. So yeah, well. Um... Usually I get people to send in photos. Okay, no I only ever work off photos because, yeah, like you said, it's yeah, just okay. impossible for that amount of time. And I know that we had many a conversation because uh, we discussed a few photographs and things like that and you said that the detail wasn't quite sufficient in some of the photos that I'd looked at. So uh, you've got a, a link or a description in regards to photos on your website, don't you? Yeah, um, so you want your photos to be as high quality as possible because it is your pet so when I zoom into the photo I need to see all those tiny details that you would see when you're looking at your pet because otherwise I could be painting obviously a Rottweiler which doesn't turn out to be your dog because the photo doesn't have enough detail in it. Beautiful. Um, but yeah I've got a link on my website which gives some good tips on what a suitable photo is and what isn't going to be as great for a portrait. Fantastic. Um, so Rachel's from Unleashed Artistry. We will put a link to her website and also to her YouTube, YouTube channel. Check her out on Facebook. Uh, amazing talent, um, talented artist. I am absolutely stoked uh, with her with her portrait of Zuka. It will be hung in my lounge room, pride of place. And uh, make sure you support Rach. She's a local artist. She's recently actually just done an interview for an online uh, magazine which was called uh, Little Pampered Dog. So we look forward to, to hearing that. How are they going to feature you? You said something about a podcast and 
Yeah, so I had an online interview on Skype with them, so yep. they're going to put that on their website and an article in their um, online magazine as well. Beautiful. No worries. So Guys, we're in September. If you are, um, would like a, a piece of art from Rach uh, based on your pet or maybe as a gift for somebody, make sure you get onto her pretty quick. As she mentioned, uh, it does take a number of hours to get these wonderful pieces of art to uh, to spring to life we'll put her contact details there and uh and hopefully we'll see uh, one of your your pets come to life soon so thanks so much for watching <laughs>